Hello and thank you for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Mary Sugden. Samantha and Stephanie are on assignment. The thousands of flights Southwest canceled over the past few days show the disruptions in the travel industry that it's still facing. Now, the reason for the cancellations is still unclear. Southwest blames the weather and air traffic control issues. The FAA says there's no such problem. And the pilots union says the cancellations are in no way related to their protest of the airline's vaccine mandate. Now, we spoke with travel agents and airport staff who all say the one thing you should expect for your next trip is the unexpected. But it's not just getting to the airport early that will make for a smooth travel day. Here's a number of tips and tricks to keep in mind for your next travel adventure. When it comes to your next flight, don't forget to pack a mask and your patience. You may see longer wait times at the TSA checkpoint, maybe longer wait times when you're trying to grab a coffee, um, or even when you land and you're deplaning, whether that be at the Des Moines International Airport or at your destination. But before you even get to the airport, do your homework. Understand any COVID-19 policies of where you're traveling to. You know, when a country says a P PCR test or an antigen test, make sure specifically those are the tests that you're presenting. We have heard stories of people that have gotten all the way to Hawaii and not filled out their things correctly and had to turn around and come back home or didn't have the right kind of test. And gone are the days of holding off to book, hoping to see a cheaper price. If you see it, book it, especially when it comes to rental cars. We suggest that you rent your car long before your trip. Uh, there is a rental car shortage. In our experience during this time, the prices are not going down. <laughs> there are more going up. And speaking of booking, travel insurance is something to consider. But experts say read the fine print and make sure the insurance covers what you need. So you need to make sure that your cancel for any reason policy is a 100% refund policy. And there are a lot that aren't. But if you read the fine print, it's only a 75% refund if you're canceling for any reason. If you're canceling for a covered reason, it would be 100%. Well, COVID is not a covered reason unless you're sick with it. And when it comes to that insurance, a red flag that travel agents want people to look out for is the price. Now, if you're seeing an insurance for a couple hundred bucks per person on one site and on a discount or third supplier site, it's only $50, that cheaper option likely does not cover your trip 100%. So again, do your homework, read the fine print, but be prepared for some hiccups along the way. And for the latest air travel rules and disruptions, it's impacted passenger behavior. Now, you've likely already seen videos like this of unruly passengers lashing out at airline crews and fellow flyers. Since the beginning of the year, the FAA reports more than 4,700 unruly passengers and more than 3,400 mask-related incidents. The rate of these situations is, however, trending down. And here are three more things to know about FAA's authority with interfering with the duties of crew members is a federal violation. Now, the FAA has civil authority, meaning it can impose fines, and those fines can max out at $37,000 per violation for unruly passengers. 